back to the Thrive Time Show. Have a business question? Email us today at info at thrivetimeshow.com. Ah, Thrive Nation, welcome back to the Thrive Time Show on your radio or podcast download. Now, Chup, here's something that's crazy. You want to hear something that's crazy? Yeah, that's one of my favorite things to do. Wrigley Field. Can you look up Wrigley Field seating capacity? Yes. Wrigley Field seating capacity. The capacity. Wrigley Field's in in, uh, in, uh, North Chicago, the home of the Chicago Cubs. 41,268. Isn't it kind of crazy to know that more people are listening right now yeah. than the people that attend a Chicago Cubs game? You just made me nervous. <laughs> so what I want to do is I want to say thank you to all the listeners out there, and I want to make sure that you as the listeners understand how big of a part that you play in the creation of each and every show. The this next topic right. we're talking about is specifically because a lot of our business coaches have told us that their clients have wanted to know why do I have to do this? And that action item would be what, Chup? Okay, so we got to send over current branding materials so that over time we can optimize the look of every single item. So I'm going to break down the action items so you get this, okay? So, Chup, let's go ahead and put these action items above the notable quotables, got okay? It. Got it. Step one, I want you to go to your top three competitors today. Go to your top three competitors today, all right? Or this week. Go to the top three competitors and take a photo of every thing in their store until they throw you out go to your top three competitors and take a photo of everything in their store in their business until they throw you out he's not kidding like literally do this (laughs) this is what you do yes all right step two go to your top three competitors websites and screenshot everything they do until your wife makes you stop or until your husband makes you stop, or until you are you run into your own calendar and you realize now it's time for family time. But go to your top three competitors' websites and screenshot everything they do. Step number three, go to moat.com, M-O-T.com, right? Moat.com. Go to moat.com. Once you go to moat.com, put, uh, put in the website addresses of your top three competitors. And moat.com, isn't that crazy, Chuff? It shows you all of the advertisements that your competitors are doing right now. Yeah, uh, a couple shows back or last show we did that for, you know, I was looking up Tony Robbins and it's literally every ad he does. The guy's yelling a lot at his crowd. I don't know, he's like screaming a lot in these photos, but yeah, it, it shows give, everything that he has. We give Tony a lot of uh, we give Tony a hard time here on our show, but I'll <laughs> tell you one thing about Tony. Tony is he wrote a book called Awakening the Giant Within, which I thought was a very practical book and it helps inspire people. But if you are wanting to implement and not just to run around being inspired. I mean, if you are already uh, sufficiently inspired and you just want to know how to actually grow a step-by-step multi-million dollar company, that's where we step in. Um, Tony Robbins does a great job, in my mind, of lighting that initial fire to get you fired up and ready to go. But then beyond that, you've got to like, you can't just sit there and, and be hot, hot coals. You eventually have to uh, catch that fire. You've got you've to actually begin to uh, turn your big goals into reality. You eventually have to break down those big, big goals into small, small action steps to implement a proven path. Bite-sized. And that's what we do. All right, so you go to moat.com, enter in the uh, website addresses of the top three competitors to see what advertisements are running. Step four. Then what you do is you get a copy of all of the print pieces that are being used by your competitors. Get a copy of all the print pieces that are being used by your competitors. And that does include signage, print pieces, signage, anything visually that you can see. Now, after you do that, what you want to do is you want to bring all that stuff back. You want to bring it all back here to the Thrive Time Show Dojo of Mojo, to your business coach. And then your business coach will help you improve upon every single Item. Now, Chuck, we've got some notable quotables. Why don't you fire off our first notable quotable from Elon Musk? Okay, Elon, the old Musky, Elon Musk. He says, brand is just a perception, and perception will match reality over time. Sometimes it'll be ahead, other times it'll be behind, but brand is simply a collective impression some have about a product. Elon Musk is the guy behind SpaceX, the guy behind Tesla, the guy behind PayPal, the guy behind Solar City. What he's talking about is that you might have an awesome product, but if your packaging and your branding is crap, people are going to judge you based upon that, yeah. and then you don't get treated with the respect and the esteem that, that is needed, so you can't charge what you need to charge, and your business just, just, just doesn't get considered 
for the big deal. Fortunately or unfortunately, we as people do judge a book by its cover. And the same thing is uh, happens with your product or service. People are going to in, in, uh, initially judge you by what they see that branding. Uh, another ample example, and for sake of time, we'll put a link on the show notes so you can find this. Uh, there's a Forbes article that explains this. But Jay-Z realized that there was a champagne that wasn't selling very well. It was called Antique Gold. And so, Chuck, if you were to search for Antique Gold, uh, Jay-Z, and then Ace of Spades, you can find it pretty quickly. What he found out was that uh, the Antique Gold champagne wasn't selling very well. So what he did is he teamed up with the company covertly. No one knew he did this. And he decided to just take the actual champagne. that They didn't make any new champagne. They took the existing bottles of unsold champagne. And they put a new logo on it. And that new logo was called the Ace of Spades, or Armand de Brignac, Champagne. And so what they did is they, they, yeah. went, they went ahead and they put the new logo on the existing antique gold champagne. And what happened was, is Jay-Z started rapping about it in the video called Show Me What You Got. I want to put that on the show notes. Show Me What You Got by Jay-Z. And that, he started rapping about it, talking about how great it was in all of his different videos and on tour and made sure any time that the paparazzi took photos of him, they always saw him drinking that champagne. And what happened is people then began, began to want to buy this $300 bottle of champagne. Now, the crazy story is the antique gold champagne before that typically sold for less than $40 a bottle. And simply by putting on a new cover on the bottle, they were able to get the brand to be perceived to have a higher value. Another example would be if you're out there and you're listening and you are a jeweler and you had a piece of jewelry, let's say you had a three uh, carat diamond ring, a three carat diamond ring, and you bought it from a local jeweler and you were able to sell it for a certain price. Okay, so you bought the ring from a certain jeweler and you said, hey, I bought it from this jeweler and it's worth this price. You could probably command a certain resale price based upon the jeweler that you bought it from. And jewelry is kind of interesting in that diamonds actually go up in value over time. But you said, hey, I bought this jewelry from this local store. It has a certain cap to the value of it. Now, Chup, if you said, I bought this jewelry from a Tiffany store, it would be perceived to have higher value. Can, read the, can you read the notable quotable yeah. from Michael Levine, one of our Thrive mentors? So PR genius, right? Michael Levine. He says, if you give someone a present and you give it to them in a Tiffany box, it's likely that they'll believe the gift has a higher perceived value than- Quick time out. I'll oh. make sure you're getting oh. this. This is the PR consultant for Michael Jackson, for Pizza Hut, for Nike, for Nancy Kerrigan, uh, for, for uh, Ch Charles uh, Heston, for- Back to you, Chuck. Okay, and so he says if you give it to them in a, uh, it, it'll give a higher perceived value than if you give it to them in no box or a box of less prestige. That's not because the receiver of the gift is a fool, but instead because we live in a culture in which we gift wrap everything. Our politicians, our corporate heads, our movie and TV stars, even our toilet paper. Public relations is like gift wrapping. So think about that for a second, Thrive Nation. Are you being wrapped in a Tiffany box? Or a Kmart bag. Think about the flip side of that, right? If you got a cheap, uh, a Tiffany ring, and you put it into a cheap-looking box, then well, it's going to you're going to have devalue. a little devalue, right? Right. Even though it's the exact same ring. So here are the four action items you have to do after you've done those first action items. There, you want to copy your brochures into Dropbox, copy your business cards into Dropbox, copy your logo into Dropbox, then copy your one sheet into Dropbox, copy all of your print collateral, all of your branding into Dropbox, and then your coach will help you to improve upon every item by beating your competition at every single level. Stay tuned.